Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at the retro action DC superheroes Sinestro by Mattel. Now this Sinestro does come with a yellow power battery, which we'll be taking a look at later on. Other characters included in this line are Guy Gardner, Jon Stewart, and Kyle Rayner. As you can see, guys, he does have the traditional Widow's Peak hairstyle, along with the yellow eyes, Sinestro's iconic mustache, the pointy ears, really looks nice. He does have a cloth-style costume with um, plastic, kind of pleatherish uh, details on it very nice uh, and the costume can come off to reveal a semi-naked Sinestro which nobody wants to see <laughs> um, I am gonna keep the costume on because if you guys remember when John reviewed the Peter Venkman retro action uh, figure by Mattel uh, it was kind of a pain to get the costume back on or the outfit back on. So I'm going to refrain from doing that today. And uh, we'll just go over the details and articulation here. As you can see, Sinestro does stand up pretty well. He is a hard plastic figure. There's no cloth in his uh, body like some of the old figures were. Uh, he is just a standard larger action figure. Let's put into uh, actual clothing. All right, so as you can see, his head does spin all the way around. Get that little ex exorcist action going. His arms are on a soft ratchet. Go up about that far. Uh, they can go up further. You just got to twist them. Um, let's see. He does have what appears to be a biceps, no, no biceps swivel. Um, he does have an elbow joint, wrist swivel, but when you move the wrist, if you move the wrist and the uniform at the same time, it looks like he's got a bicep swivel. No real bicep, no real bicep or forearm swivel. It's just a an illusion brought on by the wrist and the costume. Um, he, I guess he kind of has waist swivel. But I think that's mainly just the way the legs are put in there uh, legs can go up that far in the front all the way back uh, out to the side single action joint at the knee and got rotation at the boot which I think the that's just the foot at the ankle, um, but I could be wrong. It is slightly difficult to get him in a decent pose uh, because of the way the legs are put in there. Uh, and he does hold his power battery kind of well. Uh, you just have to put it in a
buffer in his hand and let his power battery just kind of sit on there. Just like that. And I think this power battery is just like the others for the Sinestro Core with the regular uh, uh, action figure line. So it might be easy to get them mixed up. Just a single piece of plastic. Uh, it doesn't appear to disconnect like the others though. So you might want to watch it. Quite possibly very easy to break. There you can see his yellow power ring. Uh, no real detail on it. It's just a glob of paint it looks like. Glob of plastic I guess with yellow paint on it no real detail sculpted into it which is kind of a bummer but uh, everything else looks really nice uh, the stitching on the uh, costume is slightly less than desirable as you can see with mine it's kind of starting to pull up a little bit doesn't appear to be that way on this side too much. But overall, not bad. Not a bad figure at all. Especially if you're a Green Lantern or Sinestro fan. I really like him. I think I got him uh, one year for Christmas from my brother-in-law. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not really a whole lot else I can say about him. Very nice figure, very good collectible. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. This was the Retro Action DC Superhero Sinestro by Mattel with yellow power battery. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care. Hey, guys. If you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.